Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I was doing in Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm coming back to explore this forest here a little bit more. Um, why is that on fire? That's weird. Do rail carts catch on fire when they hit the end of the line now? Um, there's this huge pit right here, just waiting to be lit up. Why don't I do that? I haven't an idea why I haven't lit this up. But it probably involves the fact that as I get nearer to the edge of the lit up area, there's a few more creatures who are, you know, hungry for my exploded blood. So I'm just going to explode my blood at them in the form of an era, rather than in the form of exploded blood, and carry on. Okay, um, so one way to clear out some of this uh, quickly is to light it on fire and then let the mobs die in the fire. Um, this has kind of been my preferred method with this area, dealing with it earlier, but there's enough stuff out here, well... Like, I've generally cleared it up to this point here where we start running into trouble. Now we're running into spider and skeleton territory, pushing much further. But, dang it, three hits to kill a skeleton. I cannot say I approve wholeheartedly. But yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's just set everything on fire. Why not? Oh, hello. And now I'm tilling things. Oh, grass can come aflame. That's new. And uh, let's just flee backwards while lighting things up. One of you guys shoot that creeper, please. Please shoot the creeper. One of you. Anyone. Do they have to draw their bows, too? Or is that only a me thing? Am I the only one inconvenienced by this new update? Okay, so there's a creeper who is neither on fire nor dead. And he seems to have seen me. So as long as another one doesn't run up from the other side and flank me, I'm in pretty good shape. So let's go light all this up while the uh, lighting's good. Under the cover of flame. Dang it, you guys! Lit up! Really? It's that difficult to kill you? I've gotta say, armor's gotten a lot better. Okay, creeper. Um, lots of guys coming at me. Gonna keep fleeing backwards. Dang it, thanks Thanks for the help. The assist there was greatly appreciated, guys. And out of arrows. Well, this is different now, isn't it? So I guess I better go grab some more arrows from somewhere. Dang it. Never run out of arrows, or I frequently run out of arrows. It's one of the two. Okay, so at this point, I'm out of arrows, but I'd like to continue my progress to take advantage of the massive burning tree thing that we got going on over here. So, can I just kill this creeper using the power of jump attacking? No, no, I cannot. Jump attacking creepers, not a good idea. Lesson learned. So, what if we just run through here and just light it all up? Oh, that's right, we run into crazy, stupid Endermen. And we start running out of torches already. That's a bad sign. Okay, this might suddenly be a lot worse than I was anticipating. Okay. I think I heard the broken item no- Okay, there's an Enderman. Um... Okay, I somehow have managed to not look at any Endermen or die, which is incredible. So we're just going to keep sprinting until we're safely back here in our well-lit area. Any of them follow me? Oh, incredible. Incredible. Oh, I should have been lighting trees on fire the whole time on that run through. Dang it. Okay, well, we know for the next crazy insane run through to set the trees on fire. And I'm thinking that the next crazy insane run through is about to start pretty soon because, uh, you know, I'm already here. Setting everything on fire. 
Setting everything on fire. I'm probably gonna fall off a cliff. At the edge of all this, I'm setting everything on fire. Oh, that's gonna be a fire. Everything is now on fire. This isn't really a song that's written by an expert. This is just me making stuff up as I go about, okay, now I'm gonna be trapped in here with everything on fire around me. So this is marginally worse than it was before when I was not gonna be trapped back here. How big is this area? Okay, wait, that's the edge. Well, I found the edge. So that's good to know. And I'm about to be caught in a burning hellscape as opposed to just a normal hellscape like I have been. So uh, we better get out of here quick. Oh, everything's about to be worse. Everything is about to be so much worse. Oh, well, maybe it'll be okay after all. Really, island? Is this all you are? Just this massive island? There's nothing left, nothing else. Dang it, this place is massive. There should be something out here. Hey, quit it. Y'all are lame. Just more void. Ugh, stupid void. Oh, great. Now I'm... Whoa! How am I doing for health? Surprisingly okay. I also haven't actually... Whoa! There's an explosive, uh, fella. Dang it, guys. How many skeletons need to be here? Clearly not you many. Okay, so that might have been a tactical error. Well, this concludes our tour of everything horrible about this island. Ugh. Don't even know where my corpse um, is. I'm recording this video before I go to Minecon, uh, though you might not see it until afterwards. I'm gonna have a bunch of footage to edit and whatnot from the road, essentially. Um, so, excuse me if you've seen me do all sorts of wonderful stuff that I'm not talking about here. The reason I'm not talking about it is because you live in my future. Or something. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you live in my future. How you like that, huh? So, yeah, with that um, interest in oddness, kind of uh, the way that turns out is that I will be talking about stuff that hasn't happened yet. Oh, wait, no, I won't. I'll be talking about stuff that has happened, but you'll know about stuff that hasn't happened yet. Because time is super crazy dumb. Like, it just doesn't make sense half the time, and then when it does make sense, you're just like, well, why can't it just be digital? So, let's, uh, let's hit this guy with a sword until he dies. What? How many sword hits does it take to kill a skeleton in the center of a Tootsie Pop? Okay, so there's an Enderman there. Okay, there's, that's gonna be a baby spider spawner. I know that. I've seen them baby spiders come out. I don't want them to come out at me. So we're not going down that way quite yet. Um, let's go ahead and continue lighting up around through here, I guess. Uh, setting some of this aflame. So that'll uh, solve some of those problems. And die with a sword. Just as you lived. Okay. Lots of Endermen around here. Oh, because of that. Lots of Creepers. Yep, Creepers. Found them. Spider, you should attack the Creeper instead of me. And Creeper, you should blow up at the Spider instead of at me. Oh, that was easy. Sword time. Well, I wish they were all that easy. Let's save that gunpowder in case we need it later to make some explosives. Um, so let's see, we got this huge hill here. We got spiders coming out of everything, which is like my least sort of thing to favorite happen have. Whoa! So fleeing that immediately 
Oh good, I'm also not wearing armor. Why would I think to not wear armor? Why would I think to hit them with that not the sword? Ugh. Sometimes I am limited by my own inability to process information rapidly and accurately. Um, so in this case, I'm thinking, oh, I'm fine. Armor, it's super effective against this sort of thing. Well, it would be. Now, now I'm wearing shoes. Now I'm wearing pants. Now I'm wearing a hat. You can steal my... S I can't even talk. I'm so, like, flustered. Oh, wow. It's crazy how tall some of these trees are before I burn them down. It would almost make me feel bad about burning them down if they weren't full of spiders waiting to kill me. Okay, so that's a tall one right there. Oh, both of you can catch on fire. I'm okay with that. Do they take additional damage for running through a second fire? I would assume they do. Like, contact damage. Whoa, that one's suddenly not on fire. Well, I am displeased about this for many reasons. Uh, one of them is that I now have a pit that isn't very well lit up. I guess I'll claim this one here. What I kind of do is I kind of do a few passes with lighting, where, like, the first time I just kind of run through and set everything on fire, or, like, light it up very rapidly. And then after that, I try and get more refined with my methods. Dang it, guys. Leave me alone. Why are you not dead? Okay. I can handle... Whoa! He's a little closer than I anticipated. And that was a cliff that I didn't exactly anticipate well either. Okay, little slimes, time for you guys to get killed, too. Um, lots of you isn't there. Aren't there. So we'll just set that fire. Oh, good, now I'm suddenly in a pit. What is this? This is like a, a little divot here. It seems to indicate something. Don't know what. Whoa, 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 get out of my face. Explode at somebody else, fellas. <sighs> okay, well, I think I'm gonna have to go back there again in hopes of somehow not dying this time. And, you know, maybe I'll accomplish something. Maybe I won't. We'll have to see, I guess. But until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills in Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. Special thanks to Paco, a.k.a. Parker, who writes, At Minecon, I told you I'd buy a sign.